Pino's kitchen again and uh, earlier I, I made some like a burger dolls and I left it home and then after now uh, before I left ho home and then I, I placed it I cut it and divided it into two pieces as you can see here and again I took the plastic wrap I read, I read it so after you I divided into two. I decided to let to let it be again for another 30 minutes. So this is the size exactly the size I wanted it to be. So I covered it again with the plastic wrap. You can use any kind of a cloth, a kitchen cloth that you have home. And now you can see like I'm uh, washing my hands now. So and we continue with the frying some bagels after this. But before that. Before that, we I remove this uh, plastic wrap away, and now this is my olive oil. I am I'm about to spray this olive oil on top of on top of my burger. Why I'm spraying that olive oil, or you can just put the olive oil in something like this if you have a bottle. Then you place it something like this. You just take your kitchen brush, you brush them up. Why I'm brushing them up is because I don't want them when they come out of the oven and then they're like kind of uh, too dry so this is why i'm putting i am spraying it with the oil if you don't have a, a olive oil you can use any 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 kind of oil that you have home like we said uh, when we're doing home cook things we don't have to stress now we're managing what we have at home so that you don't stress about oh what i'm gonna do if i don't have it always when you look around you say ah i can use this to do something so this is all my all my videos about to manage home and so that you're gonna manage for a day you don't need to stress yourself so now i am you can see i'm painting them with my olive oil just painting them out and i think now they're okay yes and then now i am ready if you want really i can just uh, show you one check your fork you can just put the holes there if you want it to look like that but the other one i'm not gonna do it so i do only one just to show you guys it's possible to make a holes there on top so now i'm placing this can might take like 20 to 35 minutes so i'm putting now in the oven i'm uh, on my oven i set my oven like 180 degrees i don't know what kind of a stove you have but mine i put in 180 degrees heat so now we are starting with the bagels i have here 400 grams of the minced meat here which is also you see is not so much fat you can see here that there is not so much fat on this one is only 10 percent only a very very small amount of fat so this is it right there and then i put now i'm ready i already caught cut the onions ready i have here some spring onions i mixed up with the normal onion so i'm placing there those onions i already cut I like to do my things earlier like kind of ready so that you know everything is just right there so nothing also special here i have heat my oil here like to be ready to fry our our steaks today i'm using the beef steak you can use any steak same steak like i did before with a, a, a tuna fish steak if you are allergic to the meat then you can use that that tuna fish steak i made before to put it to use it instead of using the the beef steak if you are if you are a kind of a person who's allergic so now i'm adding my spices all my recipes my recipes are very like kind of easy you know this is a parsley i'm adding but you know a spice like i said before that this it doesn't matter what kind of a spice you have but i'm using like a pepper here I use a paprika, the red one. And I have this, my favorite spice, because everything is mixed up there already. Just twist it maybe like kind of a 20 times, this kind of spice where you have to, actually this is like a table spice where you can just use it in the But since I don't have in this kind of container, so I'm using this one. I have to manage with this what I have. I have here you can see the two eggs. Two eggs here I have to add with this uh, mince meat that I have. So I'm gonna be using just because I'm using 400 grams of the uh, 400 grams of the 
of the beef. So I'm gonna be using the two eggs with them so that it become nice, you know, combined together. And also I'm gonna need then some cornstarch instead of using the flour. I'm using the cornstarch. I'm usually mixing, you can mix with a, with a, a normal cake flour, like uh, all peppers flour, but I'm mixing here, I put it here, my cornstarch. So now I'm breaking the eggs just there. Breaking my two eggs. In this particular one, I don't use my hands. So I'm using the fork to mix this, these babies all together. So now I'm adding again, I'm taking my uh, like a normal spoon, normal teaspoon. I am adding the, my cornstarch uh, because I want it to combine very well together. Add the egg in this particular one, in this particular dish, now the egg is not enough uh, to combine. So I am using the cornstarch, just about one and a half teaspoon in there. I think this is it now. We just mix this together because while our our uh, bread is, ba is baking there, so we are gonna fry the steaks. I'm watching the time also, and I'm also watching it. Time. So as I'm mixing, I'm also putting my eye on there. It's still raising. It's rising up all the time. My baby. And then now, and someone might wonder, ah, she didn't add salt. Yes, I'm supposed to be adding salt there. Add like uh, 400, like one teaspoon of the salt. Yeah, we keep one. When I put this spice here, you don't have to worry about anything. It would be nice to get something like this home and then you don't need to worry, you put that and that and uh, all that. So is this almost the same way where uh, the time when I did uh, the time when I did the, the fish steaks is the same mixture. If you want there, if you are a kind of a garlic person, you can always, uh, you know, put some garlic in there. Because this is only like a, a home, home cooking, like kind of the better. Like it's like a home, but this is how I do it mine. And then now I'm going to use again my, my measurement here. I used last time. I'm using my measurement. It shapes my bagger. It helped me to shape my bagger like it's going to fit in my, in my bagger there. So now I'm ready to add this. Into my into my pan, which is heating right here, as you can see, it is heating. So I'm taking my measurement to place there, and you can see I'm shaping it. I want my bagger to be like a little bit like double, and you know this bag, this particular bagger. Now I'm not using cheese. I'm not gonna be adding cheese on this one because. As I said, I'm trying myself to diet. So if I use cheese, the cheese is a lot of fat in the cheese. So I'm gonna eat my burger as it is. But if you serve this burger for the to the children, then you can add as much cheese as you want. But in this particular one, it's all about now I'm not gonna use the cheese. So I can see that my shape is nice and in a good shape. And I add another amount here. I'm only making only two. No. I am very happy about my steak. Look like that. You see, the way I'm shaping it, the spoon is always very good to help to shape it. These you can find in a store, in a baking store. You can find them there. So, this is the only two beggars I'm doing today. I'm not satisfied with another steak then. I want to put a little bit more so that it's going to be a little bit like thicker. Thicker steak. 
So this is it. I only need two, so I leave this one for the next dish. Then next time. So now we are frying our beggars. I'm gonna have to a little bit, you know, like cut this again. And then next, uh, when, when our bread is ready, I'm gonna make another part three to show you guys when I'm just dishing the whole the whole thing up and then you're gonna see how it look like that you can make this home. You can do anything home as long as oil because the flour, the cake flour is cheap, the yeast is cheap. So you know, you, you just uh, manage with the cheap thing you try to create yourself. I know that sometimes you can do it once you fail and then you keep on trying, trying until you get there. Seriously, it's not about going to school for everything. It's about, you know, you try. You try today, you try tomorrow, and then next time you're gonna just, oh, you got it. So, okay guys, we cut this one. I'm gonna just uh, uh, send another video and how my bed look like after that. Stay tuned, I'll see you soon, bye.